So in order to change your email address, first let's head to the top left corner where we have Steam. Then let's click on settings. Then once this interface pops up, we're going to click on account. Then on the right side, we have email address and then also change email address button. So we're going to click on that. Now, once the new page opens up, we have two options. One is to send a confirmation via the Steam mobile app on your phone, or if you don't have, you select this one. But first I'm going to show what happens when you click on the first option. So you're given a code and this code you enter on your Steam mobile app. Then once you click and confirm that on your Steam mobile app, you then there is going to be a pop-up and you're going to click continue here. And then obviously change the email address on your PC normally as you would. Now let's say that you don't do that, let's go back. Let's say you don't have the app and you're gonna click on the next option. So the next option is to verify via the SMS on your mobile phone. Now that's also an option, but let's say you don't have that. Now, if you did have, you're going, you click on that, it's going to be sent. There's going to be another code sent to, similar to the previous one, uh, to your uh, mobile phone. Then you're going to enter it. And then again, you're going to do the entire change email process via the PC through this interface. But let's say you don't have the phone anymore or the phone number. So let's continue. Another option is to verify via Gmail or email, whatever the email you have. Now let's say, then again, you're going to be given a code, then you enter the code and then you come back to this interface and you change your email. That's another option, but let's say you don't even have that. Now, if you don't even have email that you can use, then you click on the second option and then you're basically forced to verify your password of your account. And through that process, you can actually verify your email. Now it's going to be slightly longer than any of the previous options, but you will still, still be able to verify your email and at the end of things, that's what you want. So it's actually pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.